Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my little shop of horrors. Today, we're going to get out, and I'm honestly excited. Uh, we haven't really left the shop much in this game so far. Just because we haven't had enough money, the junkyard doesn't really merit itself until we start buying cars, I feel like. Uh, but today, we're getting into the barn. We are close to it. We got to do a little bit of grinding, so let's check the old uh, repair orders here. And would you look at that? Some brake systems are popping up. 25% CR? Yeah, we're going to need all the CR we can get. We'll take that one. I saw another one, though. I might even take two jobs right now. I don't generally do that. But this one looks insanely difficult. Then, then again, this one's got brake problems. You know what? I'm going to take this one instead. I was thinking about this one just because of how big it is. But these two, I think, should get us the XP we need. Don't know if I can drive it or not, so we're going to have to send it back out to the lot just to see. I'm going to guess and say no. What'd you do to the steering wheel of all things? Oh my god, it does work. Okay. Oh god, this thing. Okay, this thing has steering issues. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I have steering issues. Oh my god, steer. And I will say it's extremely fast. Whew. All right, yeah, there's some problems there. The whole gearbox is broke, yet how is this thing working? All right, well, this is kind of annoying. Everything's bad, but not bad enough to the point of replacing it. So this is kind of worrying me. I might need to get deep into here to figure out what's truly wrong with this thing. Yeah, look at it. It's like all 50s. Like, 50s are fine, which sucks for me. That means I'm not going to get paid, and now we still have issues with this, don't we? Part not discovered. Interesting. One break part not discovered. Oh, we do have everything. Okay. Generally, I mean, I've done this enough to know that if it's a not discovered part, it's generally the ABS when it comes to brake issues. And yeah, that's looking pretty crusty. So let's take this off and check out that ABS pump. And that's got to be it. 28? That's close. That's probably it. Yes! Okay. All right. Hopefully these aren't damaged beyond repair. They're a little crusty, as you can see. Oh, this one's probably damaged beyond repair. This is looking freaking awful. All right, how's it doing? 10%. Yeah, that one I don't think I'll be able to, which sucks, man. I want to use my lathe so bad. Okay, I can do one of them. Thank God. The other one is fine. So we're going to let that do its thing. This thing is so cool. I love... I don't know why, but I love this machine. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, oh, I can do the ABS pump. Okay. All right. Free ABS pump. Yes, please. There we go. Anything else? Brake caliper. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to be a big payday, assuming I don't somehow screw this up. There we go. That one's done. Up to 70. I I'm not supposed to do this, but just for fun. There you go, buddy. All right. And unfortunately, everything else I have to change is broken beyond repair, so... We're gonna have to buy a few things, but hey, there's an extra probably two to three hundred credits right there, just because I got the tools I need. Okay, I don't know how much this ABS pump went up. Okay, <laughs> we need 49% for this build. I got it up to 50. Talk about lucky. Nothing like going to a shop and getting rusty old parts instead of new ones. What the hell? Speaking of rust, Jesus Christ, the gearbox. Is that okay? Oh, I do have to change the gearbox. Okay, I'm not insane and in thinking, you know, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, that's a big job. Man, this is going to be an expensive piece. I hope I can repair this. Gen then again, it's at 10%, so I doubt it. Am I supposed to change? Is it just cool with this? Like, I'm so confused because it just had... Oh, clutch pressure plate now. Okay. Man, I am missing everything. Okay, it's a good thing I checked that, but then again, it's hard to miss that wonderful piece of rust. So yeah, unfortunately, the gearbox and that pressure plate, not repairable, but I didn't expect them to be able to be. Damn, that gearbox, though. It's too bad I can't repair that. I think that's the most expensive item I've ever bought. All right, and there we go. Another job, I think, done. I don't know why, but I kept forgetting things on this job. Uh, was a pretty basic job, all things considered. Should be a good payday with that one. Oh, wow. Wow! Okay, I need to change more gearboxes more often. We're at 9,000 now. I want to keep my money. Uh, I don't really know how the junkyard works. Or, sorry, barn find. So I don't know if we can find a full car that we can buy and whatnot. I'm hoping we can because I want to actually get into, you know, upgrading my own car. Anyways, oh yeah, I have a car outside, don't I? <laughs> this is why I usually don't get two cars. I forget what I'm doing all the time. Okay, what, 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 what are we doing with this thing? We got freaking problems everywhere. Oh, yay! Gearbox! You know I like that! Okay, so looks like gearbox is for two things. So if we're probably having gearbox-related issues... I doubt this starts, but hey, I was surprised last time. Oh my god, it starts. <laughs> this episode is great. Usually I'm struggling. All right. Yeah, we, we got a few issues here, as you can see. Oh, that found the vast majority of them. That's fantastic. Everything, 
you know what? I just want to appreciate this. Everything is going so well. We still have parts we need to discover. That's probably ABS. Let's check right now. Yep, that is a bad ABS. So we'll throw that off real quick, just in the parking lot. All right, and everything else I think is found. Actually, knocking sound coming from suspension. Okay, so we got suspension-related issues. We should be able to find that just by inspecting, probably. If not, we, ha we might have to just take apart part of the suspension here. It doesn't look like I'm finding much in the front. Haven't really ID'd much in the back, though. Come on, find it. Nope, I don't think we're going to get as lucky as that. So, yeah, we might just have to take apart the suspension and figure out what's exactly wrong. But considering how bad this car was, not finding two parts, not the end of the world. All right, let's just send it inside. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the shock absorber might be the issue. Yeah, there's more rust than anything else on this. I'm just adding it to the list already. Got it. Okay, is the, is the other one just as bad? Yeah, I think I found our issues. All right, and that's everything. Kind of weird that these two jobs were pretty similar. Oh, yeah, the clutch plate as well. That would be smart. That's a little rusty. All right, everything else looks good. But yeah, we had two of essentially the same jobs. Hopefully this one pays as good as the other one. Uh, as always, actually, before we go, what do we need to uh, repair to? 65%. All right, that's actually quite high. And bad news, everything is too destroyed to repair. Did I need to do any discs? I forget at this point. Everything's a blur. No, I don't have any. Well, damn it. I'm going to have to buy each piece. That truly does suck. Whew, ABS pump, 950? I don't remember that being so expensive. That's why I earned so much money. I could repair the last one. This one, it's too broken beyond repair. No wonder why I earned so much. That's insane. Well, putting it back together didn't give me as much XP as I wanted. We might need to even do another job here. I'm just going to do the things that give me extra XP for free. So yeah, a great way to do it is just to utilize your tools. Every part it scans, you get an extra one point of XP. So you get kind of like 20 to 30 with every tool here. It's actually insane. And this might push me to the point where I get the level, hopefully. All right, that pushed me to 812. I think I'm just going to get near it. I think you get like 50 XP for a job. Oh, I forgot the ABS pump. Okay, we'll install that. Okay, is that everything? Did I forget anything? I did not. Yes, we did get just enough. Nine XP over. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I finally get to go barn finding. So I think we have three, three barns we should. Yes, I've, I've unlocked three different barns. Uh, it costs 100 credits to get there. That's cheap, uh, considering the junk air costs 500. So I wonder why. So yeah, we're just going to go to one right away. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm hoping we can find vehicles in here. But even if we can find decent parts, I'll take anything, man. Oh, this is so creepy. So yeah, we're in a barn, literally. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I just rummage through and I can take what whatever the hell I want. Okay, you know what? This is actually... <gasps> Well, 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 uh, can we just take this? Is it free? I'm so confused. There's no way I, I get to keep all of this, right? There's just junk upon junk. I got a case. Oh my God, this is insane profits. There's, there, there has to be like, I have to buy this at the end or something. You know, it'd be really cool if I build a car just based on barn finds. Cause I mean, I'm finding a little bit of everything. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I need all the money I can get. This is our first, like, serious money earner, I think. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'll just take e everything, man. Um, oh, I do have to buy the car. How much is it? The buy price is 13000 I don't even have enough to buy it. Okay, so it looks like you can either buy cars or just loot for junk here. There's another car here. Dude, what kind of barn is this? This is insane. So yeah, this other car is 29,000 as well. We're not really in car territory. We could almost afford that one, but even that one I can't buy. So yeah, I think we're just going to return to garage. Oh, no, I thought I get to keep them. So it looks like I just get a 5% discount. Now, is that a barn find price or is this the store price? Because if it's only a 5% discount from store price, well, I already get a 5% discount from the store. This has to be a better deal. This is a... Do I want to risk it? I think I'm, I'm going to risk it and just buy 5,500... Or sorry, 5,286 credits worth. I'm going to buy everything. And I just want to sell it and see if... I earn a profit doing that. So this might be the dumbest idea I've ever done, but hey, check out my inventory now. This is uh, a lot of freaking parts. At least I got a free case. Oh my God, I got a bonus case. And I got, yes! Talk about the dream! 
Look at this. Look at this. Okay, there's an extra 500. Oh my god, another barn map? Okay, well, that was a really l lucky case. We'll just throw those onto the thing. I don't know if we'll do any more barn finds right now. Uh, let's find out if this was worth it or not. So I started with 7,545. It cost me 5,286. Let's see if I actually profit just by selling this stuff. Hey, we might actually earn a profit. <laughs> okay, this might be worth it after all. We're at 11,000. We must be earning a profit. I've already kept a break disc as well, just because, well, we'll be able to use that. All right, we definitely earned a profit. Now, some of this stuff is from our jobs. I think all of this now, let me just double check, is from our jobs. So, so if we do the math, 12,951 minus 7,545, which is what we started with, gives us 5,406. It costs us 5,286 to buy all that. So we did maybe earn a profit of like 100 or 200 credits. Definitely not worth the time, you know? What you should be doing is storing a lot of those good parts instead of just, you know, selling them right, right away. So I, I think I probably just evened out and I might have sold a few things I had in the old inventory. So yeah, unfortunately, barn finds is not going to be profitable until I start buying the vehicles, it looks like. All right, you know what? Let's end off with one more break job. This is actually the new DLC. Two new DLC maps have come out and uh, yeah, looks like we got... Well, this almost looks like a Lotus of some sort. I'm assuming that's what it's based off of, but I believe this might actually be. Is this electric? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say this is definitely electric. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the new DLCs is you can now work on electric cars. Let's go take it to the track real quick. Okay, and this is gonna be weird. Oh yeah, we'll listen to that engine. Woo! Okay, this is a lot faster than the other things I've tried. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. This actually feels really good. Like the back end slides out, but I feel like I'm more or less in control. That was a bad timing for that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we have a bad break disc. That gets me excited. I think this is a very basic job, but hey, this is our first look at the new electric cars. Well, I can see the problem already. Surprise, surprise, we have a bad ABS pump. Let's actually check the rest of this. Okay, so it literally is just a brake job. I was hoping we can get into the engine and whatnot. We can at least kind of see how this works. So we get the battery pads at the bottom and then the engine right in the middle of the two wheels. Looks like this is a single engine. Honestly, I don't know too much about electric cars, but uh, yeah, this gets me excited that we can at least work on these and we should be seeing more and more of these now. Uh, anyways, let's repair everything. We're just gonna take out the ABS. Hopefully I can actually repair this. Oh, also I, I leveled up, so I might have the next unlock um, before I forget in my perks. And yes, indeed, I have just enough skill points to unlock Renovator 5. So we're almost at the end here. This is a very simple job. All the brake related items are in one wheel as well. So we should be able to flip this real quick. Hopefully these are not destroyed enough to the point where I can't repair them. Because then this will be a really profitable job. Okay, that should be everything. Let's go check if I can repair any of this. I might even have some of them in the inventory. Um, brake caliper, I can. Done. Um, let's do it one more time, maybe. Done. Now, I can do the ABS module, but the thing I need to repair is the ABS pump. So that sucks that uh, the pump is beyond repair. If it's uh, in the red, generally, I can't repair them. That sucks about the brake disc as well. Thankfully, I've looted one off of another job. And you know what? I decided to just max out that disc. It was at 86%, but we may as well make it perfect for our first electric car. And we repaired the brake caliper. So all we need to do is buy brake pads, I believe. And oh, yeah, the ABS pump too, which really does suck. All right, all I need to do now is change windscreen and brake fluid. Is that all in here? Yeah, it's still in here. So it's just conveniently placed up a little higher. Okay, and there we go. Another job well done. Assuming I did everything. Bam, what are we sitting at? 14K now. So yeah, not bad. Well, that was exciting. Our first DLC job. So yeah, I think we're going to start saving some of this money. I don't know if I want to buy a car. I really want to get into that aspect of this game, but we still obviously have a lot of upgrades we need to get to as well. Like the dyno, the paint shop. We haven't done any paint shop related items. Hell, I haven't even bought the second lifter yet. You know what? We should probably do that at this point. Let's just do that now. I, honestly, just to get rid of the bus, hopefully. There we go. Now I feel like a true shop. All right, I'm just curious what this is. Now we can do customization. Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay, garage look customization. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Because my garage looked like a piece of crap before. Let's do green. I don't know why, but I feel like green's unique. Okay, you know what? Let's keep the walls the same. That's a little weird having to different walls. Oh, we can even change the lifters. Not the rusty yellow anymore. Let's go for clean yellow. Okay, anything else? Lift your arms. This is kind of cool. I do like that you can totally customize this. We'll do blue. Okay, you can actually change everything. So we'll, we'll change the rest of this later, but you can actually even change the outside. So I'll definitely do some more of that later. But hey, this looks a hell of a lot better. 3,500 credits well spent, if I do say so myself. I feel like a professional mechanic now. And on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the very basics of the barn find right now. We definitely went a little bit too early, but I'm excited to go back and buy a vehicle once we get a little bit of credits in the bank. And yeah, we got to see our first electric vehicle. We'll be seeing more of those in the near future. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the next episode, we can unlock the final perk for the restoration. That way we can earn a crap load of money really quickly and buy the rest of the upgrades for this shop. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.